Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fill your brows in using a pomade, and it's super quick, super easy, and I'm gonna give you a few shortcut tips along the way. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got these brows, then keep watching. All right guys, I cannot take myself seriously. From here, looking at my monitor, it looks like I have no brows at all. But I actually do, I have little sperm brows. So. Hmm. It's funny, because I'm finding a hard time looking at myself now and taking myself seriously, but I feel like this is exactly how I looked in seventh grade. Like full face makeup with no brows, because brows just weren't a thing then. I don't even think I started filling in my brows until maybe like, like five years ago? Actually, that's a lie because I remember in high school, I discovered like a black crown and I started penciling them in like crazy. And somebody actually asked me if I started filling my eyebrows in and I, said, I was like, no, no, what do you mean? And they were like Sharpie brows, like, why did I even lie about that? All right, well, we're just gonna get into this because I need to get my brows on. This is like, this is traumatic right now. All right, guys, so I'm using the Pomade by CoverGirl, and this is in the shade Rich Brown. It's this guy here. I just started using a pomade probably about, I guess it's been like a month, maybe a month and a half now. And I just really like it. It glides on really easily. It, it's really easy to overdo them, so you have to be careful. But once you have like a pattern down, I feel like it's pretty easy to, to maintain that same brow each time without going crazy. All right, so I typically start, okay. You know these little hairs here that people typically like brush forward? I start curving my brow right after those. So jump in right here, start curving that up slightly. Start slowly filling that in there. And I just go down. So the rule of thumb for eyebrows is, well, they have like a chart that says that the end of your eyebrow should really, it should be like here. So if you take a brush and line it up, they say like that, to the corner of your eye, that your tail should end there. And they also say for the arch, it should be at the end of your iris. Is that iris? I didn't do well in science class. So your arch should start there, which is cool because they already just do it like that automatically, which is cool. All right. And then they say that the inner part of your, your brow should actually line up with your nostril here. So it should be right about there. Which honestly, I think I draw mine in a little closer than that. But we'll see when I finish it. So I typically do the curves of my brows first. So I do those on both sides, make sure the curves in there. All right, and the reason why I curve them is because I have a pretty severe retching, ret retching, resting bitch face. So I found a trick that I just kind of started doing, just kind of in my head, it sounded like a good idea to round off your brow and to give yourself the impression that you're raising your brows because that's what I do automatically anyway because I know that I have a resting bitch face. So I just try to look more presentable. This kind of like lifts your brows up a little more and like gives you a softer look. So I figured if I do that to my brows automatically without raising my face like that, when I'm not doing that face, which most of the time I do raise my brows anyway, it just become natural at this point since I do it so often. But there's that off chance that I'm not doing it, my face will look softer. So, I mean, ugh, I haven't really asked anyone if that's the impression that I give off. I'm just assuming, so I probably still look like a bitch. All right, so I'm just gonna continue this down the tail of my brow. So 
So I just recently shortened my um, the tails of my brows to give myself more of like a... I don't know how to describe it. I think I'm just experimenting is what I'm trying to say. But before I used to have it like down to here because that's where my natural hair grows. So I used to have them kind of curve around. But I think without that, it softens the, the expression as well. Now I'm just gonna go underneath of my brow here to fill this part in. And start to shape out the tip of the brow. So I typically take this right up to about the point where I contour, where you can see my nose contour right there. That line, I typically take it right up top there. And then I grab the tip of the brush and just kind of wiggle it in there to fill in the front just a little bit without it being too harsh. Now you don't want to draw these too far in because then you're going to defeat the purpose of looking like you're not a bitch. Because it's definitely going to give you that bitch face. Now I'm just drawing the top part in just a little bit more. I'm continuing that curved line, like curved motion, I mean, as I'm working my way in. And I like to just go over this area with just the excess that's left on my brush just to smooth it out. Now it's time to draw in the inner hairs here. So I just draw this straight line right here. And I just lightly feather in the rest of the hairs here with whatever I have left on my brush. Now I've got the basic shape laid out. Before I go in with um, just tweaking it and kind of cleaning them up, I typically take a picture with my phone because that way you can tell if I need to bring this, eye, this eyebrow over a little more. These hairs always, it's weird because when you look in the mirror, it's totally different than when you see it in a picture. And this brow is my struggle brow, struggle bowl, my struggle brow, like I said. So this one typically needs to be curved a little more and it needs to be in a little more. When I'm doing it here, it looks like they're even, but you don't fully know until you take a picture. So this always helps too if you're a beginner with trying your brows, trying your brows, with drawing your brows in and trying new styles. Let's see. It actually came out like like right on, pretty much. I just need to curve it slightly and then I'll, and I'll fill in just a little bit more here. I think we're good. And then I usually just go in with a Q-tip and I go right underneath my brow here just to clean up any little mistakes that we've made. A lot of artists like to use a concealer to clean up their brows and they usually go underneath here and then on top. And this just gives it, in my opinion, like a really harsh look. So to me, this is kind of my version of doing that, but it comes off a little softer. So you're just taking away the excess. And by doing that, you're giving it kind of like a defined line underneath. And then I go in and I highlight it once I'm finished doing this. And then up here, since you don't want to wipe away any of your foundation, I typically just really lightly go on top of there and clean it up. And then I take my Q-tip and just go over them really quick, just to get out 
any chunks, if there's any chunks of the pomade in there. And I see that this is kind of coming up as a bald spot here, so I'm just going to fill that in slightly. So after you have them all filled in, you're going to want to seal them. So to seal my eyebrows, I used to use Model in a Bottle, which you can get rid on Amazon. This stuff is probably about $12 and it comes in a tube like this. This is really old and it's going to look a little crusty, but... So it almost looks like a clear nail polish. But this, I actually... Once I ran out of it, I decided to fill it with hairspray and it works exactly the same and it's free, you know, like, I mean, not free because you still have to buy the hairspray, but I mean, the amount that, that it takes to fill up this bottle from a hairspray can is like, like nothing. It's like probably about this much in your hairspray can. Okay. But, um, good hairsprays to use for this are actually, let me get them. Okay, so the two that I use, I kind of go back and forth between two different hairsprays. Um, not really for, for any specific reason, just if one's running low and I still have more left in, in another one, I'll just use that one instead. No like real reasoning behind it. But I'll start with, this is Frizzies. This is the moisture barrier one and it's in um, 24 hour firm hold. Yeah, and this prevents against humidity, so even when it's humid outside, your brows aren't gonna come undone, which is really important. But I've used a ton of eyebrow sealers and like none of them have really worked for me. I heard that the Anastasia brow sealer is really good. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but it's, it's pretty expensive. And I mean, if I could use something that's really cheap, I'm gonna use that instead and it works the same, so. I don't know, just doesn't make much sense to me to spend more if you don't need to. Uh, but I showed you the Frizz Ease one, and this is also by Squatch Goff. This is the Got To Be Glued. This stuff is really good. It's really good for just gelling your hair down, that's really what it's for. Um, but it says Screaming Hold for Hair. This thing lasts forever! And this one's actually perfect because, well, the top that actually was sealed around here broke off. But I think this already, this part was already popped out originally anyway. But this is perfect to fit in this little tube here. Oh shit. So I just take the top off, stick this in. Perfect. Now that I'm like demonstrating it, it's looking like it's a mess, but it's really not like that complicated. But that was like pretty much one spray that I did in there and you can see that it filled it up a decent amount in there just from like, like one like straight shot. Okay, but anyway, so that's what I use. And I take the tip of the brush and just wipe away some of the excess before I put it on my brows. And I just very lightly comb them up in place. And then I go underneath and just start feathering these a little bit too. Perfect, and there we go. So you don't need to buy this, this bottle from Amazon, like I said, you can always just, if you have like a regular spoolie at home, which I have one, I had one on here somewhere. Where'd it go? No. Oh. But if you have a regular spoolie at home, just like this one, you can always just put some hairspray in your hand and then just wipe it like that and then just do your eyebrows. All right, so I forgot to highlight my brow, which I usually do before I seal it, but I'm just gonna do it now just to show you, but I would do this step before you seal it. Just highlight right underneath here. This also just further cleans it up. Like I said, I don't like to do the um, concealer, concealer brow trick. 
it just kind of gives you the illusion that you did that without it looking as harsh. All right guys, and this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you wear these brows? Do you think they're, they're too crazy? Do you think they're too overdone? Or do you like them? Are they perfect? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, this is super cheap. You don't need to buy expensive products to, for them to work really well. I mean, I know the Anastasia, Anastasia, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the dip brow, I think that's what, like $30 or like 25 or something. That's outrageous. The one from CoverGirl that I'm using, you can get it at Target for $8.99. I mean, they have it at Ulta for $10.99, but I mean, everything's more expensive at Ulta. But, but yeah, I think you can even get this for probably like $7 at CVS or Rite Aid, just drugstore in general. But, but yeah, I think it works perfectly. It's super easy to work with and yeah. So let me know if you're gonna use my tips on how to seal your brows with the hairspray. Try it out, let me know what you think, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.